Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I am just going to make a few little dangles here. And I figured out something to do with these wooden, uh, I don't know what you call them, just little wooden die cuts, little wooden cutouts from the Dollar Tree. They're so cute, I just couldn't resist buying them. And they were. They look like roses to me. They may not be, but oh, I'm going to call them just flowers. But there was just plain. It's not painted. There's pink and then there's red. And they're so cute, but I don't have anything to use them for. So I'm going to use them for dangles. I think that'll be so cute. And I had made this cover. It is this way. It's just a piece of cardstock, but it's not very thick, so it really wasn't too useful for anything. And then the other side was nothingness, something I would never use. So I decided I would make a cover for my fairy journal out of it. But as you see, it cracked all the way through, so it wasn't going to work out for that. So how I did this was, I all I wanted to do was make it a little thicker for the cover. But how I did this was that was the thin cardstock and I just I put glue down and I put three layers of book pages just the Dollar Tree book pages I didn't color them I didn't need anything I just put them on there glued them on there three um not stacks what would you call that three um layers three layers and then It'll come to me. Give me just a moment. Mod Podge. Matte Mod Podge. I put matte Mod Podge on it. Then I <clears throat> put this really pretty. It's also from the Dollar Tree. This is tissue paper. Kind of a cream colored tissue paper. But the print on it is these leaves. It was the tissue paper. So that is awesome. Then I painted the Mod Podge on top of the tissue paper. And I just tore off the edges, and this is what I have. I thought the Mod Podge would make this where it wouldn't crack, but I'm guessing that was just a weak part there. I'm not sure. But anyway, it didn't work. But this is what I'm going to do with them. It is so cool. I'm so glad I came up with this. Here we go. Cut off a piece of it. And I'm going to get this out of the way. And that is very thick. And stiff now, so it's amazing. I knew I would have to use it for something. I am going to use my little bulb, little bitty bulb pins. I have black and silver. Get a single one. Black, silver. There's a gunmetal color. And of course the bronze or the aged looking ones. And then there's a bright gold. It's really bright. Gold color. It's pretty. It's really bright. So this is really thick stuff. So I'm going to punch through it. Bear with me here. The last one jumped out at me. <laughs> well, let's see if I can turn it over. Sides are really pretty. Let's get some more of them. This is very loud. There. I wonder if I can get one more out of that. Let's see. Oh, maybe. We'll see. <clears throat> I did. Yay. Okay. Plenty of those, and they're really cute. I think I like both sides, but the ones that have more green on them, then I would use that for the main side. This one doesn't, so I'll use that side. How about this one? That one doesn't have a lot of green on it either. That one has a little bit of green. How about this one? Not much at all. Okay. 
this out. Let's see if I can get this one out of here without, nah, nah, not worth it. <laughs> not worth all that. I have a whole other sheet here if I want another one. So what I'm going to do is get my crocodile here. Let's see, we want the larger side. There we go. Get a little hole punched in here. We want most of the green to show, so. And I don't mind if it's not right in the middle. I'm just not. I don't get banana shape or things like that. I don't want anything I do to look perfect. So, so I'm not a perfectionist and it's all in the fun for me. And I have my big desk in here. So excited. My love felt, felt well enough today to help me get it in here into this room. Great big desk here. I love this desk. It's uh, 1941 field desk. This field desk. You just have to look it up. 1941 World War something field desk. It's well made. You can take it all apart and it all fits underneath it to, you know, just about this size. But it's very sturdy and it's very big and I just really like it. Let's get another one of these. Don't really want the white because this is not white. Let's see if we can get... I thought I had black. Let's get a black one. It's not black, so that's the color we're going for. We're just going to keep that color. Go ahead and get this one punched out. Want most of the green. Well, it doesn't really matter because I was going to, when I had the little hole punch, I was going to punch them right there. But since I don't have the little eyelets yet, go ahead and get that. really like this crocodile. Really glad I got it. It was a good investment and it was like half off when I bought it, purchased it. Let me go ahead and put these out here so I can, so we can see what we're doing. They're really cute. Those are really cute. I did do some circles and there it is not all that. <laughs> right now, not for this project. Just kind of wanted the flower theme, but I will put a few of those on there. Let's get these three done, and then we will... Oh, I did another flower. There's another flower right there. Flowers, I did one each of those, and there's our other flowers we're working with. Put that right there. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I didn't make videos for a couple of days, I think it was. I was moving all of this in here, moving everything back into the other room, and I won't bore you too much with that. Let me go ahead and get something here. Nope, no white. I don't want any white. And more white. Let's see. One more. There we go. That'll work. That will work just fine. We're going to do this side. Is it the big one? Nope. That is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just go 
ahead and get these done. up here such a beautiful day today but I had so many things inside going on that I didn't go out and enjoy it it's a nice 40 degrees there that's really cute I like that mm -hmm. that little Muppet song is stuck in my head I don't know why What's your suck song of the day? It's the Muppets theme song for me today. Well, what happened here? Oh, I did that. If you can hear those crashing noises, it's just, we have a pet door and that's the kitties coming in. I see some possums or some skunk or something there chasing outside. They don't actually go outside. We have a mudroom that they go in. and but There's a pet door and they can go in and out as they please. Okay, we have two green ones. We have those, four of those, and two of those. I think that's plenty to go with right now. few ribbons. This is what I used my one inch. The Fiskar. It's the only, I have other things that are circles, but they would not cut through this. The Fiskar did. I think it's Fiskar. Yes. I like that. This is stamping up though, and it would go through it. I had one that it a less expensive brand. It wasn't stamping up and it was not cutting through that. But that is three layers of book pages, one layer of tissue, and another layer of really light cardstock. Awesome. Here we go. We got it. Ready to go. Let's see what we want to do. It's a red. I want to put the green on there. I don't know what we want to do with that color. That's really light. How about the circle on that one? Let's put a green one on there. Let's see. Ooh, how about, since we have a green there, let's do a green ribbon on the back of it. Move this off. And I just measure it down because I want it to show in, in the back. I'm going to, it's going to be about right there. So I don't really, I don't measure anything pretty much just about that length. So you want to fold it so you will get the, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called a sailor cut. I'm not quite sure. Where's my big scissors at? Here they are. Don't think my little scissors will be big enough. Cut it up like that, like you would on a little sailor hat for a child's sailor hat. I think that's what it's called. But what I do, instead of doing a hole and doing all that business, I just go right to the tip with my stapler. And you want to staple, see this is the shorter side, you want the shorter side toward the center. So you want to staple, you want the staple side, the flat side to be staple it from the back. There. Now you have something to grab a hold of. And then that will be to the outside. 
if that makes any sense, all of that. So what do we have? We have a bronze one. Let's get a bronze one. It really does, doesn't matter to me, but my mother was a model, so it's ingrained to me that everything matches. So sometimes I can't seem to get past it. So the first one to put on would be the ribbon. So you just want to poke it right below it, right in the center, right below that staple you just put in there. There. It just kind of holds it together for you and it looks pretty on the back when you just have the straight flat piece on the back. Let's put it, find the place on it where there's, it's going to hang down the farthest. I think it will be right there. Then we're going to put this little flower there. That is cute. Like a cute little dangle. Let me find my example thing here. There we go. go that is really cute I like that it's unique and then I'm using up these wooden pieces now I'll know what to do with those wooden pieces wooden cutouts laser cutouts I'm not sure but this is definitely wood because I have soaked these and tried to get them apart like I do the butterflies isn't that cute that is really cute I like that okay Let's get it off and get the rest of them made. There we go. That is so cute. I like that one. That's cute. I really like that one. The pink and the green. What about the red? What do we want to do with the red? I already made one with this. I didn't make the whole thing, but I already made this because I knew I would be using those colors and I think that's really cute. But this one, I stapled it the wrong way. Let's see if I can get the staple out because that's going to bug me. How about this? There's one piece. Get that in the trash first. There. Another. Okay. Got that out of there. Let's staple it again. I want the staple to be on the long. Staple it on the long side. There. You know what? We're going to start over because that's just being a problem. There we go. Set that piece aside and it can be scrapped for something else. Let's see how long we want it. About right there, that would be great. Fold it in half. Make it the same length, just fold it in half. And do the little sailor cut. I'm really not sure if that's what you call it. If you know what it's called, then put it down in the comments below. Because I'd like to know. There we go. Just fold it so they are uneven. Turn it over to the longer side. And staple it just really close to the top. Maybe my stapler is having problems.
I do have a new stapler, so I may have to get it out. Maybe I'm doing it too close to the end. Maybe that's the problem. There we go. Yay! Perseverance, you will get there. Let's just grab one of these. Doesn't really matter what color. Okay, so we put the ribbon on first. right in the middle and just going through. See, that looks really nice on the back. You have the straight, the flat part, not straight, the flat part of the staple. These are really cute. Salvage my piece of paper here, my um, cover for my fairy journal. That is really cute. Look at that. That is so cute. I'll just put this one right here. That's cute. Okay, this one, I'm thinking that, I don't know, let's see what color is this. Is it burgundy color or wine color? I think that is just too much of that. Yellow, I have yellow. Let's get this out of the way here. That one on the bottom, here's yellow. What do we think of the yellow? Oh, that might be nice and bright. I think I like the yellow. Let's go with the yellow. Throw it. Make sure you just get them. You don't have to get them even. Just fold it. <laughs> I'm not going to snip it off yet. So just fold it in half. A little sailor cut. Then make one longer than the other. Turn it over to the back. And staple. Close to the top. There. Now, of course, let's see, what one do we want? Let's do the brighter color one just to add some something different. Right through the middle. There we go. Awesome. Now we'll find the longest part of this, which is about right there. This one. You know what? Since that's kind of blase, let's get. Let's see, what about this one? Is that too big? Let's see. Never know until you try it. Is that too big? Okay, let's put that right there and see. These are really cute little charms, and they already have the jump ring on them. That's amazing. That one. Or this one. I don't know. I kind of like the bigger one on this one. Let's see. Let's just. Oh, how's that? That's cute. Put something there. I just think, I just don't like it. It's okay, but I think this is actually a button. I like this one better, but I think I want the bronze one. Yeah, I like that better. That's cute. That work. So however you put it, it's going to just, there, that's cute. I like that one. So we have one of each color so far. Still think that they're gonna be these are gonna be cute with my fairy journal that I'm making. How about mm -hmm. 
wonder, is that gonna look crazy if we do? I know I wanna do an orange one because I just like the color, it's a beautiful color. We'll decide what color we want to use in a minute. Let's just put one here. And pink one. Pretty sure I'm not using red, you never know. We'll just Okay, that looks about right. Oops, fold it over. Okay, make one longer than the other. Turn it to the back. And give it a little staple. What color do we want? What do we want to do? We want to do this one. And green or this one yeah I think that's cute I, yeah that's cute that's really cute let's go with that one how about we go with the lighter color silver it's not really silver it's kind of a dull silver a matte I would think kind of go in the middle And we'll put on put it at the largest point so it'll hang down the farthest. Do the green flower. There, that's cute. That's really cute. Let me get this. Whoops. Try that again. La 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 la. There we go. That's cute. I like that. Yeah. That like a cute little angle. There we go. That's cute. I would have never thought to just leave the wood raw. I'm gonna move this over a little so you can see them all. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, what color have we not done? Pink, I have a pink one over here. Already have a pink one made, so let's go with the pink. And we want to do red and pink. That's cute, I like that one. Do we wanna do this shiny gold to give it a little bit of different? Just amazing how big of a difference it can make just changing the color of the metal. Okay. Or should we do the pink? Oh, I like that. I like that better. We could do a red one anyway, but I like the pink right here. That's cute. I don't think it needs a key on it. I think it's just cute enough, right? Just like that. Those are cute, really cute. Okay, let's get that one out of the way. We've got two of those already. And we have two pink ones. Let's do another red one. Hmm, what color should we do with the red? I don't like to do red and green because people think of Christmas and I don't, I don't like to holiday anything because that way I can use it on any item, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm the only one that would think it would look holiday-ish. Let's give it a go. See what we think because this could be representation of the leaves. 
Yeah, I don't like that at all. I don't like that. What about if we... Nope, not the orange. And not the yellow. Let's see. I know I like the pink. I'm just trying to do the other colors. I don't like that at all either. Probably if I had black lace, that would be pretty. But I'm not going to bore you and go dig that out right now. Let's go ahead and go with pink. Because I do like it with the pink. I think it's cute. side shorter than the other one end shorter not one side is that too long no nope. mm, we just fine turn it over to the back horse stapler here it is now those would be pretty colors together really pretty there we go nice and flat Okay, we have that, that. Let's build it up here real quick. The flower. How about we do the circle and a key? How about that? Oh, cute. Look, if you can see it, the little key is on the key, the little, it's a heart. That's cute. That's really cute. Easily amused here. Let's see, they all have a heart. Oh, they sure do. How cute. That, I like that a lot. What color? Do you want the lighter color? No, that's kind of blah. The darker, yes, let's do the black. How about that? That's really cute. Just put your pen right in the center where you stapled it. Find the longest part on the rose, which would be that one. Let's put the little circle on. And the little key charm. That is so cute. So cute, so cute. There we go. Isn't that adorable? So there are two different ones with the red. And they look totally different. Oops, I that threw it down. Come here. And here's the pink. Totally different, but they look so cute. And then just the raw one, just the raw wood color. So pretty, but they look so unique. I'm really happy with these. So there you have it. So cute. These on here a little bit so you can see them better maybe. <laughs> that ribbon's a little short, but it's cute anyway. It's fine. <laughs> That's what I did with my mess up here. It was supposed to be my fairy cover. We turned them into little charm things. Little discs, little flowers. You can do any shape you want to. And found something to do with these little wooden die cuts or laser cuts from the Dollar Tree. I just couldn't resist getting, but I didn't have any plans for them. Thank you for watching. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Have a wonderful day.